In this video, I'll show you how to set up private internet access VPN on your computer. Now, if you're looking to set up the VPN on any other device, such as your phone, maybe your Mac, smart TV or tablet, then check out my channel and I'll show you how to set up the VPN on those devices as well. So first things first, we're going to need to acquire the VPN. If you haven't already got private internet access, then check out the links in the description and you'll be able to save a huge amount on your purchase and you'll get free months for free. So select whichever plan you want. In this case, I'll go with a two year plan as it's the cheapest. And then you just want to complete your payment and you'll have access to the VPN. Once your payment is complete, you'll be on this page, which allows you to download the VPN for whichever device you're using. In this case, I'm going to click the Windows option, which will download the Windows VPN and allow me to install it on my computer. From here, you just want to click the installation file and then it will open up the installer, which should then install private internet access. When the installation completes, you'll be on this page, which allows you to sign in with a username and password. You're going to need to head over to your email address that you use to sign up for the VPN. And in there, you'll have an email which shows that which says that your VPN has been activated and it will have a username and password to sign in with. So if you just use that username and password, I'm just going to copy and paste my one over here. and hit the login button, it will take you into the VPN. Now, private internet access is very simple to use and very easy for beginners. If you click this drop down arrow, it will open up all of the options. And at the top, you'll see that it has an automatic server that it will connect to. In this case, it's picking Belgium for me. And below it, you have all of these quick connect countries. So if you want to quickly connect to popular countries such as Germany, Netherlands, Ireland, or the UK, then you can just click the flags and it will connect. Now, if we click this arrow in the top, it will open up all of the other countries and the latency, which is the delay between your computer connecting to that server. So the quickest ones will be at the top, which have a very low ping. And as you scroll down, you'll be able to access more countries. But as you can see, the ping increases as the distance between me and the server also increases. Once you've found the server that you want to connect to, all you have to do is click on that server. So in this case, I'll click UK Southampton. Then you want to press the bottom arrow to close it and then press this button and you are now connected to the VPN. Now, if you're looking to change some of the settings with the VPN beyond the basics, you just want to click these top three uh, dots in the top right and then you want to go to settings. Now, in the settings, you can change a variety of different options. The first and main setting that I would focus on is the split tunnel option and a split tunnel allows you to segregate your application applications to have some of them operate behind the VPN and some of them not to. Let's say I have Chrome and Firefox and I want Chrome to operate with the VPN and Firefox to operate without. Well, in the split tunnel settings, you can name the applications that you want to operate behind the VPN. Another cool feature that private internet access has is the dedicated IP feature. This allows you to have the same IP whenever you connect to the VPN. So let's say you're playing on a gaming server and you're white listed under a certain IP. Well, the dedicated IP will stay the same every time you connect to the VPN and that way you can maintain the same IP address. It also helps to solve captures and to stop two-factor authentications from happening so often as you're not sharing this IP address with many other people. On the privacy tab, you'll find two options and the first is a kill switch. A kill switch stops you from having any privacy or IP leaks if your home internet connection were to cut out. Let's say you're connected to the VPN and suddenly your home connection just wipes out. Well, when you reconnect to your home connection and your internet comes back online, it's first going to wait until it's routed through the VPN and then to the outside world rather than going directly to the outside world. This stops any IP leaks from happening and keeps you secure behind the VPN and is a great feature. Another cool feature that you have is PIA Mace, which is basically an ad blocker. But when you're using the VPN, it will just automatically block ads on all web pages instead of having to have an extension on your browser. So that sums up my video on private internet access. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.